Georgia's hospitals on high alert tonight as COVID cases continue to rise. Today alone, more than 5,000 COVID-19 patients were hospitalized. Right now, intensive care units across the state are at about 92% capacity, but more and more patients continue to flood emergency departments. And right now, hospitals are seeing numbers they have not seen since January, and things are not expected to get better anytime soon. CBS 46's Tori Cooper joins us live now. And Tori, you saw firsthand what local hospitals, hospitals are having to deal with. Yeah, Sean, Rick, this is the area where ambulances have been pulling up throughout the night with COVID-19 patients. Nurses telling us they've even had to treat those patients on the back of the truck because it's just simply too packed inside. Now, just within the first 15 minutes of us spending time in the ICU, two COVID patients died. Appreciate your helping to um, inform and educate our community. Hospitals don't usually open their doors like this for our cameras. But that's how bad things are right now. Um, it's been a tough year, you know. Uh, we met Amber Rampy, a nurse who has spent the last 20 months in this COVID unit at the Northeast Georgia Medical Center. Today, she tells us she's done. I just left on Friday because I can't do it anymore. I just can't. Like many medical professionals, she thought the worst of the pandemic was behind her. And although I'm used to people dying, I'm just not used to this many dying. 73 have died in this hospital just this month. That doesn't include the two more who died while we yeah, were here today. Um, we just wanted to see if all the cameras can kind of come down just because the family members are about to come down the hall. A family member just died. Yeah. 248 patients are battling for their lives tonight in this ICU. Statewide, more than 6,000 other people are facing the same uphill battle. Our highest peak was back in January when we had 355 patients in our health system. If the current modeling holds, we are supposed to go anywhere close to 450 to 500. The ICU packed, video showing the hospital hallways now converted into busy treatment areas. We haven't had to turn anyone away. But they have had to be creative. They are actually seeing patients in the back of trucks, so they don't have to wait. Um, and this is the best way that we can do that because we have physically run out of space in our emergency department. They invited us in to spotlight this fourth wave that's killing younger and healthier patients. And right now they're like 45 and their kids are 12 years old and you have to tell them daddy's dying, it's terrible. Amber says she stopped asking you know, if patients like were vaccinated. Individual people make poor choices and you have to take care of them, but as an overwhelming group, it's upsetting. She does hope that sharing her experience will be the push some people need. Now, this is a look at one of the mobile COVID units that staff has set up outside the hospital. 19 members of the National Guard have been assisting staff in this area, and they have already requested 30 more guards to show up here. Reporting live in Gainesville, I'm Tori Cooper, CBS 46 News.